Halloween's coming. Is your house ready? Look what came in the mail today. It is the Oriental Trading Catalog for Halloween. Very excited to take a quick peek through this with you. By quick, I mean it's probably going to take some time because this is a hefty magazine. It is uh, almost, well, it's 90 pages long and they have some pretty good stuff. I've bought things from them in the past, so I'm kind of excited to see what they have to offer. And clearly, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of skeletons. They had it on the cover including some under the sea skeletons. And then right here in the front page, we have a, a fold out spread of some skeletons themselves here. Starting off with this unicorn skeleton, you know, everything is unicorn these days. It's only two feet tall, so it's not huge. It's a little baby unicorn, $40, not too bad. And it looks like we can get some large posable skeletons on sale for $40 each, so $40. You can put them in a variety of poses, and who doesn't want that? All right, opening it up. Shriek-worthy savings on ghoulish grabs. So here's another skeleton, two-headed. I've seen a lot of two-headed skeletons these uh, this year, especially at the at-home store. You can get them in all sorts of animals and even aliens, everything with two heads these days. So $50, you get your two-headed Skeleton, they've got ooh, over seven foot tall props here. A Halloween witch and a reaper couple. So you can get the entire set for $75. And again, they appear to just, let's see, they stand. You can check out the video online. There's not a whole lot of information in these catalogs. The only thing it indicates really is that it needs two AA batteries, but I don't really know much about what they do but they definitely have creepy expressions, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then here's kind of a table of contents. So we've got Halloween decor, um, and then some pages for candy, toys, costumes, glow, and bulk handouts. So let's go ahead, turn the page, and see what we have here. All right, so this is what they had on the cover. I was kind of excited about this. Um, now, I have not looked through the catalog much, but I did see this on the cover and I wanted to check it out online to see what it was all about because I have some little octopus skeletons and I was excited to see that these were a lot more expensive, meaning they're probably bigger and they are. They have a small one for $25 and a large one for $60. I went online to see how much the sm or how big the small one was. It's 24 inches side to side. They didn't have any indication. It wasn't on the website at all um, for the big octopus. So if the little one's 24 inches, who knows how big the big one is, but I'm kind of excited to see that because I do have the mermaid. It's, uh, I do have the mermaid and it's on sale here for $72.79, but I found her on sale in the past as well. So what else have we got going on? We've got skeleton cat, some um, skulls. Ooh, this spider's kind of creepy looking. I don't know if that's shadow or if that's design with these little sort of black markings on here. Item G is a giant Halloween skeleton spider for $24. Again, giant, I don't know how big it is, but it uh, looks pretty cool. And some skulls and a bag of baby heads. That's really creepy. Four yards of creepy cloth, that's gonna run you $8.29. I actually love the um, creepy cloth that comes in big giant swaths like that. It makes it easy to decorate. Um, whether you're going down a banister or I use them for my balcony railings. Um, lots of, of ideas with the big creepy cloth. Although you can get it um, in big bulk quantities obviously at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Skeleton dogs, look, a skeleton alligator. I don't think I've seen one of those before. I might need those for my ponds. And that's $24. And we have a guitar playing skeleton. Ooh, I love this, a rubber ducky looking duck skeleton. And he runs $5. Um, a skull with some headphones. And I'm wondering if these are light up eyes that kind of move, because I've seen that's kind of a trend going on this year. And that is a talking skull with headphones, $20. I'm kind of curious to see what it would do. Here we've got a little monkey and a three-headed dog and some dog skulls in case you ever needed 
a dozen for $20. You can get them here. All right, so what's up next? We've got some, uh, looks like some figures here. We've got a, a witch. Oh my gosh, I love this, a Medusa with lights and sound. And it's $25, so it's probably just a little hanging prop. Oh yeah, it says hanging Medusa. So she's not gonna stand on her own. I don't like those props. I really like the ones that will stand and I can pose. But I love the idea of Medusa. And wouldn't this be awesome if all of her little snakes moved as well? That's an opportunity for some Halloween store to do because I would buy that pretty instantaneously. Love the eyeballs. Some uh, looks like a bag of bones, a little light up woman's body. I love all the pirate skeletons. This one seems pretty simple. Oh, it's on sale too, $45. I'm not sure how much of a sale that is. Um, what have we got here? Some cauldrons. This looks like a little skeleton, ghost, a pumpkin man. Oh, I kind of like this one. What is this? K, the animated pumpkin scarecrow. I like that his body's made out of like the corn husks. We have another scarecrow. Does it do anything? It says animated sitting scarecrow. If it's anything like the one we see at the spirit store, it probably will like lunge forward at you. I'm not sure I've seen a vulture before, but that's kind of neat. And I always love a good snake prop because snakes scare everyone. And then we have, let's see, P is a tabletop jumping spider for $20. And then a nice little animated hanging Halloween owl. All right, what is that? An hanging animated dragon. So, you know, dragons are becoming popular for Halloween now. I don't much care for them, and I certainly don't care for this hanging prop because I don't know what this whole train is. It doesn't look like a dragon to me. I mean, a dragon should have a body with a tail. This just looks like, at first I thought it was like a person with some sort of strange head thing going on. Some bones to look like they're buried. Not sure what this is, Lost Souls Backdrop. I do love good photo backdrops. Not sure how big this one is, obviously, it doesn't say. Um, but for $20, can make an interesting backdrop. Some witches on stakes you can put in your yard. What is E, a light up witch groundbreaker. An animated creeping, or crawling creepy woman. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. A zombie. Groundbreaker stones. Um, some skeleton hands. We've seen a lot of these this year too at the at home store. $10 for a set. It doesn't say, I assume that's a set of three, maybe, because there's three, or is it a set of two? Don't know. Again, the magazine's not very instructional. Got some witches. Oh, love this creepy thing. What is this? Animated talking tree for $62.40. Very creepy, look at that face. And then over here, it looks like we just have a bunch of ground breakers. Something in a, a coffin, creepy skeleton man. I love this, is this, what is this, a zombie? Yeah. And we've got our pumpkin man, which we saw this guy, I think at the Big Lots this year. And he is very creepy and has a great movement. I'm assuming that's the same one, I don't know. And another zombie. All right, what have we got going on here? Some lighting effects. Mermaids are big this year. I don't get it. I certainly don't want mermaid skeleton light strings. Don't understand it at all. Creepy baby heads. Uh, it's a little overdone, I think. I like these little ghosts. They're yard stakes. 20 bucks for, I guess, oh, each? Each, really? $20 for each of those. Not sure that's a bargain, but okay. Um, spooky doll yard stakes. Hmm. Okay. E is the mini witch legs, Halloween stakes. We've seen so many versions of these throughout the years since Grandin Road did it way back when. Or was it Martha Stewart with Halloween Haven? It's all the same, right? G, spooky lighted lace curtains. I got one of these as a free gift. Not exactly this pattern. Uh, but it's not something I've ever used, not sure I would, and they want $20 for it, I wouldn't pay that. And then we've got some spider webbing options. Ooh, what is this? I, it's a killer backdrop. Kinda neat. J, is this 
Halloween spider decoration with skull face. I love that. Look how creepy that face is. And these spider legs are terrifying. L is the hanging mirror with jumping face. M is the vintage Halloween metal luminaries. Oh, that's nice metal. $22 for three. Got some books and some bloody bunting rolls. But saving this best looking one for last, and it's Madam Misery. Don't know what it does, but it's $93.59. So if you need a fortune teller for your Halloween haunt, there you go. Oh, that's disgusting. I guess we've made it to the candy section now. So we've got a bunch of gross gummy worms. Not really going to go through this too much. We're going to skim it for the good stuff so that this video isn't two hours long. But those worms are thoroughly disgusting. Realistic gummy earthworms, $10 for a pound of them. That would have been perfect for my ghoulish hot chocolate concoction or haunt chocolate as someone named it, which I love. Um, throw some of those in your Halloween foods just to make it really disgusting. Some Sour Patch Kids bulk candy, which is great to give to the little kids. I'm all about filling up trick-or-treat bags for the kids that are just overflowing with candy because why not? It makes the kids love me and not want to toilet paper my house. So that's always a plus. It's worth the investment, I guess. But let's see. Wow. 10 pounds of Dum Dums for $80. I don't know how much that should cost, but nobody wants Dum Dums for one thing. That just seems a little overpriced. 3,000 pieces of basically garbage candy for $145. Wow. It's 30 pounds, though. I don't know. It's still, I kind of feel like that's too much. Like, Go to Sam's Club and buy some of the big, bulky, good candy for a lot less. It looks like we're getting into a little bit better. I mean, you got M&Ms there. Two pounds, $12.99. Not bad. All right. Here's some of the slime time fun stuff. I don't know what this guy is, but he's fun looking. And you can give kids slime. I'm sure their parents would absolutely love you if you gave them slime for their Halloween treats. What are these? Uh, I don't see a label, but I like the look of them. Are they just little plastic creepy crawly things? What are these? Halloween tombstones pullback toys. So you pull this back and it just, you let it rip, I guess, rip. And it'll just slide forward. I mean, why? I don't understand it, but maybe I'm just too old. Lots of fun products. Is that like uh, prisms? Okay, that's kind of neat. What are these things? Rubber ducky assortments. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to see, like, this is a little ducky vampire. You see a skeleton. These are really kind of hard to see, but you got aliens. Not sure what those things are. Some country things. I'm not sure they're all supposed to be Halloween or not. Well, it does say Halloween rubber ducky assortment. $27.09 per unit of 50. That's not bad. So, like, 50 cents each. That's kind of a cool... Cool thing to give kids on Halloween. But what else have we got here? Beach balls. That's kind of neat. A dozen, thirteen oh nine. Not a bad price. Lots of little um, clicker toys. Uh, magic springs. Those are slinkies. Oh, look at the little balloons with faces. Oh, they're punch balls. Okay. All right, everything with the pumpkins on it. Let's see, what else can we... Oh, all the kids love these little mazes that you can put your little you know, ball through. What else is around here? Eyeballs, gross things. Who wouldn't love all this stuff? Now's the time to get this so you're prepared for Halloween. All right, so we've got little bouncy balls with all the different characters on it. Some shiny gold coins if you're doing a pirate theme. So 144 pieces is only $5.39. Mini personalized Halloween flying discs. That's neat. Free personalization. So it's like a, it's a frisbee, basically, I guess. But it's a mini frisbee. Twenty-eight cents each. So you, you have to buy seventy-two for twenty bucks. That's awesome. I think that's a good idea. All right, whoopee cushions and different designs. Snakes. Oh, 
jumping spiders. Is it really jumping spiders? How does that work? But five dollars gets you 144 of them. Ooh, look over here. A coffin toy chest. A hundred pieces for twenty dollars. Looks like they've got a couple of those rubber duckies in there. It's hard to tell what else is in there. But uh that would be kind of fun for a kid's party. What is this? Long-armed Halloween stuffed characters look like they can hang on things. $20 for a dozen. That's not bad. That looks like a vampire. We've got a couple of zombies. Frankensteins over there. Mm -hmm. Little square plushed Halloween characters. That's kind of neat. Lots of little plushies. These guys are kind of cute. What are they? Um, e is... Plush characters, spookadelic plush characters. So $20 for a dozen, basically. Nice. All right, looks like we're getting into some games over here. A Wheel of Fate game. So you can spin it, and I don't know what the... doesn't give any indication what our fates might be, if they're good or they're bad, but I'm sure with these little kids playing them, they're good. And that is $16.39. That actually seems like a good price for that. A bowling kit. G is $10 for that set. Not bad. Bingo. How much is bingo? $5. It's just a little um, sort of beanbag toss game there. We've got $16.39. Seven pieces per set. I, I don't know if that's seven whole sets or seven pieces that make up the set. Because $20 for that seems a little overpriced, so I'm not, not so sure about that. Some sort of spinner game. Spin a prize. I don't know what that means, but uh, $24 each. Is that each? Oh, maybe it comes with all the little prizes. It's hard to say. I don't know. But who wouldn't love to be a kid and play all those fun things? What is that? All right. G. Pumpkin inflatable body bopper set. Wow. All right. So $43.39 for a set of two. And they're kind of like giant bumper cars, just inflatable bumpers. That's fun. I love that. Dartboard games, $9. Oh, oh, is that, what is B, wait, where's B? Oh, it's a beanbag toss as well. And it's $31.99, seven pieces. I guess, again, seven pieces has got to be the board and the beanbags. All right, puzzle, skeleton puzzle, scavenger hunt. I wonder what that's about. You just hide the, the pieces of the skeleton around and people have to hunt for them. That's kind of neat. Good idea, actually. $16.39. All right, what is this? 50 more Halloween games online. All right, but I like the look of this. What is this? This is L. Pin the eye on the skeleton game. So that's kind of neat, kind of cute. How much was that? $4.39. Not a bad price. Are these supposed to be costumes? What is that? All right. B is monster. Oh, that's the monster archway. That's kind of neat, but not for $44. And then these things are stand up so you can get your picture taken with your head in it, $42. Oh, and these are tote bags, $13.50. Hmm. Interesting, lots of little monster products. Mm, superhero products. I don't see anything overtly Halloween. So if you're into superheroes, that would be good. Look at this. They've got peanut stuff. A backdrop banner, $24. A stand-up. So you can get your picture with these guys. Like the Linus and Sally's, $55. The Snoopy's, $40. Hmm. Love it. Okay. Lots of Snoopy products. Ooh, you can do the trunk or treat. It comes with a whole little decorating kit. You've got the peanuts, got a monster, Dr. Seuss, Super Mario Brothers. What is this, Ghoul Gang? Don't know what that is, just generic, I guess. Black Cat, Be Kind, eh, whatever. <laughs> Baby Shark, okay. Don't need those, but these are awesome. I love that they have the whole kit. Wow, 200, like this Mario Brothers one has 285 pieces. I wonder what that all entails. You got some boxes, some balloons, banners, little, um, what are those mushrooms or 
the little plant things. I love the little, I don't know what this guy's called, but the chain, the ball and chain guy. Fantastic. I am so impressed with that. I would totally buy one of these. I might have to do it. I've, I've never liked the idea of trunk or treat because I like trick or treaters coming to my house. But now I feel like I need to get one of these and do it just because they're so neat. All right, pencils and pens, all sorts of designs, love it. I have lots of Halloween pencils. I can't recommend them enough, but you know, you can get them from the Dollar Tree. Pumpkin crafting kits, about $5 per unit. Uh, just lots of assorted crafting options, love it. All right, fun jewelry for little ghouls and booze for less. So you got looks like slap bracelets. Um, is that a flashlight? Some bracelets, some necklaces, all sorts of fun things for kids to wear. And we've got some costume accessories like googly eyes and little pirate hat for $5. Okay, how much are the witch's hats? $6.29. Go to the Dollar Tree. You get these for a dollar. Probably doesn't, it's not as stiff like that, but does it need to be? Okay, you've got some whole, find thousands of costumes for all ages online, like Barbie and Ken. You can be a taco if you wanted to, or an avocado, because why not? Some more peanuts um, party wear, or you can have... This is kind of pretty, actually. How much is this? Doesn't really say, does it? Uh, I don't see a letter. But uh, I guess we can look up the codes online if you wanted to get all sorts of party wear. Ooh, fortune telling stuff. Okay, our prediction. Our fun fortune teller party will cost less than you think. So it's got everything you need for a party. That's kind of neat. So, all right, what is this? A fortune teller. All right, so it's a couple of pieces all kind of mixed together. So you've got, what is it? Games, 519. The LED tabletop sign, that's 1359. This fortune teller photo op stand-in, that's neat. I love the idea of that, 1250. That's not a bad price. A matching game, 540. Love the look of this creepy animated witch fortune teller, $30. Um, a, a fortune telling backdrop, $16. I did not know you could buy like whole party sets from Oriental Trading. I love it. You can have your, um, your party uh, plates and napkins and dishes. And a sign. How much is the sign? Uh, $13.59. Ooh, you can even get personalized fortune teller party invitations. How much are they? $25 for $27.09. And bingo games, and what is this thing over here? D is a scratch card game, 25 for $5. No idea what you can win from that. Or maybe it just tells you your fortune. I don't know. Oktoberfest, if you're into that. Good reason to start drinking some beer. All right, football. I'm just going to skip right past this because nothing here says Halloween to me. All right, what have... Orange and black striped Halloween tablecloths, all right, or uh, fringe table skirts. So the tablecloth is $20. Jack-o'-lantern for some reason is a bit more. Fringe, $10. Um, look, can coolers. I wonder, oh, you can get them personalized. I like that you can get all these things personalized. Character mugs are only 80, 80 whoops, how much were they? 84 cents each, but you have to buy a dozen. What is this thing here? All right, I, it's K, all right, K, Creepy Cemetery Archway, 86.39, not sure, it's probably just all cardboard, probably not worth that much money at all. Couple of different backdrops here, all about $20 each. Oh, this would have been awesome for my pirate theme the other year, with the little mermaid skeletons. I hate the mermaid skeletons, but I love the idea of a backdrop with the sunken ship. And then you've got the mermaids. I will accept that. <laughs> All right, some tote bags. If you really want a tote bag, check out my online store, get a happy haunting one. So I'm not going to give Oriental Trading any free advertising on that. 
All right, what is this thing? It's some candy bags. Again, I love candy bags. You can get 40 bags for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So take that as you will. Some glow in the dark Halloween stuff, moons and stars and a uh, little, uh, what have we got here? Like headbands, bracelets, eyeglasses, slinkies, which is called a magic spring. Hmm. All right, more handouts and prizes. So just lots of assortments. I like this little alien guy right here. Mega kickball assortment, $54 for 100. Not a bad price. But what is this? More bulk assortments are online. But here's a bulk toy assortment. 504 pieces for $125. All right, loads of novelties. What is this? Stuffed animal assortment, 350 pieces, $199. But none of this is all necessarily Halloween. Some balloons, a toy chest. You can give away uh, little Rubik's cubes, which are called mini bright puzzle cubes for $10 for 12. That doesn't seem bad. Some more rubber duckies. I don't know why I'm always fascinated by rubber duckies, $27. So with that, well, and that on a good note, I guess. And we are at the end of the catalog. You can get a Halloween dragon skeleton here for $40. If you're into the dragons, that's not bad. Or get yourself some cookies for a dozen cookies, $6.19. Not bad. But again, you can find more stuff on their website. Stuff on clearance looks like here. Probably not the Halloween stuff. But what are the deals here? You can get free shipping on orders of 49, 15 off and free shipping if you spend 150, 40 off if you order 300 or more. And with all the cool stuff that we saw in the catalog, I don't see that that would be that much of a challenge. But thanks for taking a look through Oriental Trading with me. I was pretty excited by a few of these things. Hope you were too. So stay tuned to see more store walkthroughs, more catalog reviews product reviews, DIYs, and so forth. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Happy hunting.